In this video, we're going to take a look at the Eventbrite Team Management Tool. This tool allows you to add other users to your account and customize their level of access and permission to both features and data. Proper team management keeps your data secure, allowing you to add and remove team members as needed. You can also choose which events and features each team member has access to. To get started, go to your organization settings and select Team Management. If you don't see this option, you may not have permission to view this feature. Contact your account's admin or owner and request they permit you to manage organization members and permissions. First, navigate to the Roles tab. By default, every account has an owner and an admin role already created. Both of these roles contain full access and permission to all events created within the account and are unable to be edited. The owner role is automatically assigned to the main account email address and can only be changed by changing the email address used to log into this account. The admin role can be assigned to any additional users that you wish to provide all access and permissions to. And custom roles can be created for any users whose level of access and permission you want to limit. You start by clicking the Create Role button. Then give your role a name and choose which features you want the role to have within your account. In this example, let's create a role for accounting. You can check the box next to individual features like Manage Orders under the Orders and Attendees section and select All under Payouts and Billing. Click Create and you have your accounting role. You can create as many roles as you need within your organization. Once you've created a role, you can invite a user to join your team within that role. To add a team member to a role, go to the Users tab and click Invite Users. Then enter the user's email address and select their role. By default, when adding a user to a role in your team, they will have access to all events. To limit this, check Limit Event Access. A search field will appear for you to choose specific events from a drop-down list. Or you can search the list by typing the name of the event you want to access. When you've selected all the events the specific user requires access to, click Add. Your new team member will receive an email letting them know that they have been invited to join your team and they must accept this invitation by clicking Get Started in order to successfully assume this role within your team. Doing so brings them to eventbrite.com where they can log in or create an account using the email and the invitation you sent. Once they log in or the account has been created, they're brought to a page to accept the role you assigned to them and they're ready to get started. If you need to remove someone from your account, simply navigate back to the Users tab within Team Management. Click the three-dot menu on the right-hand side of the username and select Delete. Once completed, they will no longer be able to access your account from a web browser. You may also want to remove access from the Organizer app when removing a user. To do so, select App Extensions from the Organization Settings menu and delete the token named NEON. Deleting this token will log everyone within your team out of the Eventbrite Organizer app and require them to enter their username and password again to gain access to your organization. You can assign multiple roles to a single person which is useful if you want to provide full access to some events while restricting information on others. Additionally, a user can have roles in other organizations as well, meaning you can have access to all the accounts you work with using only one login. If you have access to multiple organizations, you can switch between them by opening the account menu, selecting Switch Organization, and then selecting the organization you would like to work with next. And that's it. For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, Sign up for an interactive Eventbrite Academy session or visit our Help Center, blog or YouTube channel.